Hi everybody, welcome back to Meta Perfume. So I just filled a, filmed a review of my flankers for Waity and Waity and I was so tired and I'm sorry. <laughs> I could tell after I edited the video, I was like, oh, this girl needs a nap. So I took a little nap and now I'm coming with a little bit more energy. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't fall asleep till like 5 a.m. last night. I was up. I had a, a good day yesterday. And I also am on a juice cleanse. Or I'm on a, what do they call it? The master cleanse kind of cleanse. Where you're drinking just like, I'm drinking a cane juice, lemon, cayenne mixture. Which delicious and it's been helping me shed like eight pounds over the last three days so that's awesome but I'm a little bit low e so anyway I want to review this um, new fragrance I picked up guilty purchase but I got introduced to this one at the duty free shop in the I don't know where I was, in an airport somewhere. Somebody came over to me and sprayed it on me or said, try this and gave me a tester and it was yummy. And I thought about it and I kept going back. Whenever I would go back into the duty free, I would try it and I'd be like, this is good. And then I went into Sephora and I was testing it and I was like, I like it, I wanna get it. And they only had the big one, so I got the big one. Um, but this is the only Carolina Herrera in Good Girl fragrance that I have liked and definitely only one I've liked enough to buy it. Um, I didn't really care for the, the main ones, never really was ever tempted to pick those up or even talk about them on this channel. Um, but this one has changed my mind. It's one of those fragrances where I wasn't expecting it to be so good, number one. And, and when I found out what was in it, I was like, oh, it's two notes I don't really like that much. And they put them together in such a way that I really, really like it. So I like it. I like that one that happens. That happened with um, Tokyo Milk's Gin and Rose Water, as a mimosa and I think Mandarin in that. And I love Mandarin, but I was always kind of like, no, I'm mimosa until I found that fragrance and then I was like this I love I love this fragrance so mimosa is not that bad and this one um not that I dislike vanilla I like it enough but it's not a huge favorite note of mine and I sometimes dislike bergamot and this is main notes are uh, vanilla and then bergamot and peony and the way that it's balanced and what it's doing in this fragrance I'm just like yeah this is nice it's a nice um summer fragrance let me just spray it oh it smells really good oh my god it smells really good mm -hmm. mm, I love it obviously I bought it <laughs> mm -hmm. and oh, it's just so beautiful it's got like a beautiful balance of vanilla with the bergamot i didn't even know it was vanilla i was like what is this and then i looked at the notes i'm like oh. so it it has changed my mind about vanilla and bergamot if you put them together in the right balance heaven happens and that's what's going on here it's just like incredibly feminine but also interesting and unique you know, I like fragrances that don't smell like things I've smelled before, and this definitely fits the bill. Um, the, the packaging is obviously super, super fresh. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm, looks good. Um, and it lasts okay. I wouldn't give it, like, a, an A on longevity. I would give it a B, B minus. It, you know, it gives me, like, four and a half hours, maybe. Not, not amazing for you know, designer fragrance, but not awful. So it's okay. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's great. I'd say it's all right on the longevity department. I think this, this fragrance works in the summertime. I think it would definitely work in spring. Um, even winter, you could put a heavy dose on and you probably get away with it. Although it might, it might just disappear. I haven't tried it in winter. It's been pretty warm. Um, and I live in Los Angeles, so I'm not exactly sure, but I think 
it, it probably wouldn't stand up quite as well in the winter, although um, you never know until you try and I haven't been able to do that. So <laughs> let me know if you have tried this fragrance in cold weather and it works. Um, my guess is it, it could, but potentially not. And yeah, it's just a really gorgeous, really gorgeous version of the Carolina Herrera uh, Blue Curl line. I, I don't think it's very similar to the other Good Girls myself. Um, having smelled those, they sort of remind me of like uh, Black Opium and this doesn't at all. Um, so I'm going to put the notes up here because I don't remember all of them, but I know the main components are vanilla, uh, bergamot, and then peony. And I don't pull out any of those. Like, I feel like this is another one of those fragrances where the balance of the notes included sort of creates a new and different uh, fragrance than any of the individual notes. So I'm not, you know, I mean, after I learned that it was vanilla, I was like, okay, I get it. It's vanilla. Mm. Mm. Mm, it's good. <laughs> It was good. Yeah. Yeah, I've been spraying this one a lot. So, Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush. Uh, definitely a winner for me. De beautiful, delightful scent with moderate longevity. And I would recommend you get your nose on this stuff because I think it's delight delightful. And that's it. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't, that would be fantastic. Sorry, I was so like, my white teeth like yours video. <laughs> I was really tired, so I took a nap. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see you next time when I continue with my Elizabeth Arden series. Take care. Bye-bye.